Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here at the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while since we posted, but we're finally back and since we're in quarantine, we can't really go out and fish. So I thought of just making a video of the gear and tools I use when I go weight fishing. So let's get to it. Oh guys! She took me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Let me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. I said, don't think about it. She took me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Let me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. I said, don't think about it. So first, I'm gonna start talking about the the rod and reel I use. So this is my Palo Rod, seven foot medium fast action rod. Uh, I got this paired up with the Shimano Nasi 2500. And this setup's real light. It's real good for throwing lures, which is what we use. And it's just a real nice setup. I had it for a while now and it's been doing great. Uh, I got this pulled up with the Power Pro 30 pound. I know it's a little, a little too much for what we're using, but I, I just feel confident with it. I know that that it's gonna last and it's just not gonna break off on a fish and I mean at the end of the day it's just what you feel comfortable with and this is what I like so this is my first setup now let's get to my second setup <clears throat> so this is gonna be my second setup I have actually never used this setup uh, I was just messing around with it that's why I have a jig tied on but this is my seven foot medium heavy palo rod as you can see it has it's custom custom made so as you can see it has like this like blue white and gray wrapping around it and it has it all along the the guides i got this paired up with the origins 13 fishing origin cereal and i got it spooled up with power pro 15 pound high visibility line so as you can see like a yellowish green color and I know some of you are going to say that this is not a saltwater reel, but these reels are really good and really durable. And if you just rinse it when you get home and just clean it, regular maintenance, uh, it's going to last you a long time. Uh, and like I said, I've never actually used this setup, but it's real light. Uh, the rod has a good whip to it to throw the lure. And I'm just going to have to try it out and see if I like it out in, in saltwater. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. So next. Uh, I'm gonna talk about my belt, my wading belt, and what I have on it. So this is my Forever Last wading belt. As you can see, pretty normal rep, pretty normal belt. Yeah, just Velcro in the front so you can put it on. Um, along this, it has a couple accessories around it. When you get it, I took some off because I just really never used them. But what I have on them, it's I have this little pocket for your pliers. It also it also has a pocket for your stringer right here uh, a bunch of hooks so you can put stuff on of course when you're out in the water you can drop something or or just a fish can take it out of your hand or something so it's recommended that you have it tied on your belt uh, so first of all here I have my pliers these are my h2o pliers uh, these have line cutters in them they don't really work well with braid but they do work well with monofilament for cutting my leaders and stuff and you're gonna need a pair of pliers when you're out there. Sometimes you're gonna hook a fish. Uh, it swallows the hook, you're gonna have to get in there. You just can't get it with your hands, so you're gonna need pliers. Or you never know what you're gonna need them for. Also, uh, I like having fish grips. I know a lot of people don't carry them, but it's just helpful to carry them for when you get that fish and you're trying to handle it or you're trying to get the hook out. It just gives you a better grip on it and more control for the fish. These are my forever last. Uh, fish grips sorry uh, as you can see pretty simple you pull the trigger it opens up you close it and these didn't come with the belt these I bought them separately but and they're still they're pretty good I've had them for a couple years now and they're still doing good uh, also the belt in the back it has this uh, bag for your for a tackle box whatever you want to carry in there uh, it also has this like water bottle pouch but I never use it first of all it's too small so nothing fits here and second of all, I just don't carry a bottle of water when I'm out there. Like I said, the bag over here, on my left side, I carry my rod holder. Uh, it doesn't really work to carry a second rod. I know like the easy weight belts, those are really great for just putting a rod in the rod holder and just carrying it with you. But this one, it's kind of flimsy as you can see. 
and if you put some uh, if you put a rod in there it's just gonna tilt as you can see it just moves pretty freely and it's helpful for when you catch a fish and you're just trying to get your hands free so you throw your rod in there but you still kind of have to hold it like under your arm or something because if not it's just gonna go in the water but I just use it when I catch a fish to get my hands free and get two hands on the fish and that's basically it for my belt oh it also has a, a little pad for your for your back right here um, it, it makes the belt a little bit more comfortable and if you don't like it you can take it off too also all these accessories are are changeable so you can move this to another side or if you don't want this you can take it off uh, same thing with the rod holder and these pouches in the back so another thing you have to carry you don't have to but it's really helpful if you do is a net this is just a regular net uh, I don't know the brand of it it doesn't say but I got it at Academy pretty cheap uh, this one's actually pretty cool because it floats so you can just be carrying it with you I just like to strap it on behind my belt and just carry it with me drag it behind me and whenever I need it I just reach back grab it net the fish uh, something you're gonna need of course if you're gonna keep the fish it's a stringer this is a it's a hook set stringer I also got it at Academy uh, it's like this rubber but it's it feels pretty durable uh, like I said this belt has a pocket for for your stringer you just put the, the metal piece in here and it's pretty safe you're not gonna lose you're not gonna lose it unless you pull up but that's pretty you know like you're, that's not gonna happen you know just like that uh, it's pretty good I think it's like a 10 foot stringer uh, real good I've had it for a couple months and I haven't really used it much but it, it feels durable and it feels like it's gonna do good so like I said my belt has a bag in the back where I carry my tackle box so I'm going to show you what I, my tackle box and what I carry in it. So if you're going to carry a tackle box, I highly recommend getting a waterproof one because you're probably going to have hooks in there, uh, sinkers, uh, you know, things that may rust or you just don't want them to get wet. So this is my box as you can see, I got it at Academy 2 uh, and I'm going to show you what's in there. I'm going to get a little close so you can see. So again, this is my box, it has three clips. It has three clips, so two on the side and one in the front. And this is what I carry in them. So let's start off here. For, I I like to use these barrel swivels. Uh, they're 80 pound test. I know I'm probably not gonna be catching 80 pound fish out there, but I like them because this is what I used to tie my, my main line to my leaders. And as you can see, they're pretty small compared to the regular swivels. Sorry, this is a power swivel. They're called power swivels, and they're way smaller than just the regular swivels. They have the little ball in the middle, so that's why I like to use them. Here I have some hard plastics. This is kind of like a jerk bait, and this is a top water. Also here, as you can see, I have a bunch of jig heads, different sizes, different colors, and I don't really think the color matters a lot, as you can see. Uh, I, I just get them because of the size. Uh, here I have some travel hooks just in case I want to maybe use a live shrimp under a popping cork or something. These are really helpful for just hooking the the shrimp from the back. And they're, they're small but they're also big enough to hook a good fish. Again more more jig hits. You can see these are just regular. They don't they're not even painted. And some bigger ones here. I also carry weedless hooks. So as you can see right here, I like to carry with weight and without weight. I don't really throw these unless I really have to, which is almost never. I usually just throw the jig heads and those work fine. Also, I have this plastic lure. I got this from my cousin actually. I took it from him. Um, I've never actually used it, but I've heard I've heard him use it and he usually catches good fish on, on this. Here like I said I, I carry my leader line, it's just spider wire monofilament 17 pound test line, just regular line. And here I just carry a couple 
pre-tied rigs. They're kind of tangled right now, but just pre-tied pre rigs, uh, jig heads, different sizes, different weights, and just some some old lures I have had in here forever and I've never used them. But this is what I carry on my tackle box when I'm out fishing. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is what we use to record. So we have our main camera, which is what I'm recording on right now. We also use our phones. Uh, sometimes we're separated. So if someone catches a fish and I have the camera, let's say, and they're far away, they just start recording with their phone. Uh, it's just easy and I mean, camera phone cameras are pretty good nowadays so you can get pretty good footage out of that and as a lot of you guys may know we also use GoPros uh, we actually use three so I have one Sergio has one and Jay-Z has one and we all use them at the same time so we're, we're recording different point of views uh, they like to use the head mount I don't really like it because one I just feel like it's just pushing down your hat and it's just uncomfortable for me and sometimes also what happens it's if you point it too too far up it's just gonna be recording the sky and if you point it too far down uh, it's gonna be recording either the bill of your head or it's gonna be recording what's right in front of you <clears throat> so it's kind of hard to get that perfect angle where it records the middle part of what's actually happening where the action is happening and so that's why I lose I like using the chest mount um, I just think it's more comfortable one thing I don't like about it is that sometimes since it's sitting here and you're fighting a fish, your hands are getting in the way, so it kind of blocks that. But if I use a wider angle, so that helps me get around that. But it's just personal preference, whatever you want to use. So that's going to be it for the gear I take and I use when I'm out there fishing. I know there's going to be people that say that they take more stuff or that they take less stuff. Uh, it's just basically personal preference, your experience. Uh, sometimes you're out there and you realize you're missing something, so the next time you take it. Uh, I know the guys like to take different stuff. Some like to take scissors to cut the line. I use the, I just use the line cutters on my uh, pliers. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. So let us down, let us know down in the comments what gear you take. If I was missing something, if there's something you take that you really think everybody should have, uh, just let us know your opinions. Also, as you can see, I'm wearing our brand new shirt. Uh, this is going to be the Palo Bros, as you can see here in the front. It's going to be going down down the side. Yeah, it's going to have the Palo Bros with the American design here in the back. In the, on the bottom, sorry. And the back. Let me show the back. This is going to be the back. As you can see, it's a bass with the American flag in the back and it says Palo Bros at the bottom. Also, it comes in a hoodie, or if you just want it in a regular shirt without the hoodie, uh, we can also do that. So if you want one, guys, either DM us on, on Instagram, Palo underscore bros, or on Facebook, or just leave a comment down below and we'll get in contact with you and we'll get you one. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the video and see you in the next one.